everyone, my name is Brandon Red, and in today's video with Ramen Noodle Budgets, we're doing a quick rundown of the new Harry Potter training wands by Jack Specific. So I just picked these wands up, and I am super excited to try them out after seeing articles about these wands from earlier this year. I ended up purchasing Dumbledore and Voldemort's wands since I thought they looked the coolest. The wand has five different game modes that you can play, only two of which can be played solo. So a second wand and a friend or friends are definitely recommended for this product. This wand has three different game modes, uh, a free play mode, and of course a wizard's tag, which is essentially the laser tag with wands. The brand Tommy made a uh, wand similar a few years ago, um, but these seem to be a lot more uh, advanced. The wand includes a very detailed instructional manual that goes over pretty much each and every aspect of the gameplay, and it is essential that you do not lose these instructions, as the front page seen here with the spells is necessary to certain gameplay. I would recommend actually copying and scanning the front page. Now, the first thing you do with your wand is actually calibrate it, slide the wand into um, the on mode, and then set it on a flat surface. The loud noise will sound, and the five lights on the front will light up one by one. The wand has six buttons on the front, and the top is a spell casting, and the other five act as a health bar and a selection for each game. This can actually be quite an issue, as it is very easy to accidentally jump into a different game mode when you are in an active game already, as seen here. The manual also goes over spell casting, which is very similar to Universal uh, Studios interactive wands, and the spell shapes you actually cast are exactly the same as Universal Studios. So the first mode is the spell training mode, and this is a solar player game. Hit the first or her hit the first button on the wand to jump into this mode, and then the wand will then randomly light up certain buttons. These lights correspond with the manual page I talked about before, and what you try and do is find the matching lights, and then click the casting button, and then draw the shape that it shows in midair. If done correctly, you will hear a sound that corresponds with the spell's actions, as in, like, Al Homora, you hear a door opening. But if you do not perform the spell correctly, however, you will hear a loud kind of crash lightning sound, as heard here. Overall, the wand works really well in this mode, and I have not had any problems. The other solo player mode is free play, so you press the last button on the wand and then you can practice any of the spells that you learned in training. You will hear the same exact sounds you used from the previous game with each spell you make. This mode is fun for, I guess, role play to test your memory in other training modes. Uh, spell practice mode is the first two player game where each memory or each uh, member of the game tries to cast up the lit spell as fast as possible. And then the other training mode is a uh, rock, paper, scissors game, although the instructions on this section are very vague and we still haven't figured it out. Um, the final and most anticipated mode is obviously wizard tag, which is essentially laser tag. So you press the third button and watch your health bar glow up on your wand. Each player gets five lives. To cast at each other, all you do is press on the top uh, cast button and no wave is required. And this, in my opinion, was quite a bit disappointing as I thought you'd be able to use the spells from training mode against each other, but this was not the case. It was kind of lazy, you just have to press the button. And then to regain that life after you die or lose, all you do is cast, hold the cast button and spin the wand counterclockwise and you get a kind of cool time turner sound. The wand's IR receiver uh, is midway through the wand. It can be easily covered to be cheated. And uh, the wands actually did have quite a few issues. Um, this is only three feet away and the wand for some reason would only catch the, the spell getting cast at it only a few times. So it did have quite a few problems. So collectors wise, these wands are huge. Compared to the Noble Collection Mystery Wands, they are about three times the thickness. And these are obviously expected as these are kids toys, but they are quite a bit larger than Tommy's renditions of the Battle Wands. So overall, these will definitely be great for kids uh, this season, especially with the new release of Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. It sounds like Jack Specific will be releasing other waves of wands for other characters, hopefully Hermione and the other like. Um, so it would be amazing to receive some of these wands to review as well in the future. I put the link in the description for these wands if you would like to buy some yourself. As always guys, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more Harry Potter and other fandom content. Have a great day.